Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my studio. My name is Kitty Apolaskis. I am a craft-based designer, content creator, and author. And I'm here today to share with you some inspiring ideas and creative projects that you can make using the brand new Cricut Maker 3, now available at Spotlight, along with the brand new Explore 3 as well. So I love the Cricut Maker machines. I use mine literally every day in my craft-based design work. I love the versatility and the amount of tools and materials that you can use with them. So it goes without saying that I am super excited to test drive the Maker 3 with you today and to share with you some brand new features that I think you are gonna love. So let's jump in and have a look. The Maker 3 itself comes in this beautiful new colour and it can cut up to two times faster compared to the Cricut Explore Air 2 or the Cricut Maker. There's a brand new suite of smart materials including smart vinyl, smart iron-on and smart paper. With the Cricut smart materials there is matless cutting so the materials feed directly into the machine without having to use a mat. And when using smart materials, you can cut up to 3.6 metres at once, which is so handy for those long continuous designs you want to cut. If you're wondering what to create with your brand new Maker 3, I have three fantastic projects to get you started. So let's jump in and take a look. I work from home and I really want to make something to jazz up the doorway of my studio. So I've designed this daisy door curtain made with Cricut Smart Paper and a few basic supplies from Spotlight and my local hardware store. For this project, you'll need your Maker 3, 11 sheets of smart paper, a square balsa dowel rod, which you can get at Spotlight, and which I've painted white to match my doorway, but you can leave the wood raw if you like, a roll of thin, lightweight hobby wire, nine small metal screw eyes, and some pliers. You may also want to use the Spotlight project sheet for this project, which has detailed info about quantities and materials. The first thing to do would be to optimize design space for the Maker 3. Then set up your design for cutting. I've chosen a cutout flower design from the Cricut Access Library. You can do the same, just make sure it's exactly symmetrical as you'll be cutting two shapes for every flower on your curtain so that each is double sided. I'm then going to resize my flower to 7cm wide for this project. The next thing to do is to lay out your shapes on the canvas, making sure you have enough for 77 double sided flowers. So that's 154 flower shapes in total. The quantities of each colour may vary depending on what colours of the smart paper you choose to use. Again, see the project sheet for the exact quantities that I used for my project. So once you've got your shapes nested, laid out and separated by colour on your canvas, just hit make it. You're going to select the without matte option and then you're going to make sure that every sheet is sized correctly for smart paper. And when you're done, just hit continue and start the cutting process. So we've got our flowers cut out, here's how to assemble our curtain. Cut seven strands of hobby wire, each approximately 200 centimetres in length. Make seven evenly spaced markings along the centre of one panel of your dowel rod and screw a screw eye into each. Then attach a strand of wire onto each screw eye. Take a pair of flowers, remove the backing and stick them to one another on the wire, sandwiching the wire in between. Then repeat this step for the rest of the flowers. There should be 11 double-sided flowers on each wire, spaced evenly apart. You can stagger each strand for aesthetics if you wish. To hang your curtain, you can drill it directly into your door frame or attach two screw eyes to the top panel of your dowel rod and hang from removable hooks using loops of wire like I did here. So that's one idea for how you can get creative with your Maker 3 and Smart Paper. I hope you're officially inspired now and if you want more, I have another quick, easy project for you. This time using our Maker 3 with the new Smart Iron-On Heat Transfer Vinyl to give an old pair of jeans a bit of a makeover. For this project, you'll need your Maker 3, Smart Iron-On Vinyl in two colours, a Cricut weeding tool, an Easy Press Mini, scissors and some baking paper. Like we did in the last project, we're going to jump into Cricut Design Space and prepare our design. I've chosen a flower from the Cricut Access Library and I'm going to overlay a simple circle from the shape section and resize it to fit my flower. 
Next, I'm going to mirror my design. This is to make sure that when you iron it on, the design is the right way up. I'm then going to group these shapes together and duplicate them until I have the amount I want for my pair of jeans. Next, I'll hit make and select the Smart Materials matteless cutting option. We don't need to resize our sheet like we did in the previous project because we're going to be using the 2.7 meter long roll of Smart Iron-On to do a long cut. Once you've selected your materials, you can start cutting. Now that we have our shapes cut, I'm going to cut out each flower to make it easier for me to apply all over my jeans. Next, I'll use my Cricut weeding tool to carefully pull away the excess vinyl at a 45 degree angle, leaving just the shapes ready to iron on. I'm using the online Cricut heat guide to make sure I use the correct heat setting for my Easy Press Mini, my fabric and my vinyl. A quick tip for layering iron-on vinyl, when you come to the second layer, place a piece of baking paper on top of your design to protect the layer below. The final project I'm going to show you is an upcycle project. So I love giving tired homewares new life and there's so many ways to do that using the Maker 3. Today we're going to give this boring mirror a makeover by creating a fancy new wooden frame using our Maker 3 and some colourful smart vinyl. For this project, you'll need your Maker 3, the knife blade, which is a blade that comes separate to your machine, some smart vinyl. I'm using both the long 3.6 meter roll and the shorter 0.9 meter roll here. I'm also using some premium vinyl for some embellishments at the end. And you'll need some Craftwood 2 millimeter plywood sheets, which I got from Spotlight. I'm using four. You'll also need a Cricut weeding tool and vinyl applicator, and finally a hot glue gun. I'm going to use a wavy shape that I found in the Cricut Access Library and the Weld tool in Design Space to create seamless segments for each edge of my mirror frame. I'm creating shorter segments to cut from the wood which I'll glue onto my existing mirror frame to create a base. And then, because I'm using Smart Vinyl to cover the base, I can weld the shapes together in Design Space to form seamless long pieces for each edge and do a long cut on my machine. I've also found a flower design I like, which I'm using to cut decorative embellishments from wood with a vinyl overlay. Once I'm ready to cut, I'm going to select the multiple ways cutting option so I can manually choose between matteless and on matte cutting to suit the different materials I'm using for this project. To decorate my mirror, I'll first hot glue the craft wood segments around the frame to create the base. I'll then carefully apply the long vinyl strips on top. After affixing the vinyl overlay to my flower components, I'll hot glue them onto the mirror to complete the look. inspired by all the different ways that you can use the brand new Cricut Maker 3 in your creative projects. Don't forget that you can pick up a Maker 3, the brand new Explore 3 and any of these new smart materials at your local Spotlight store. Have fun and happy crafting. Bye!